Hi, my name is Dr. Alyssa Mendenhall with the Amen Clinics. I'm here to, to, to talk to you a little bit about your brain on pandemic. There's no doubt that our minds are being flooded with fear images. And the fear is starting to turn on us and undermine our ability to focus and make rational decisions and be kind and patient with each other. Is your brain there yet? Are you having nightmares? Are your emotions starting to feel out of control? We can no longer deny that the coronavirus is in our midst and that it's a problem. Some of us have been concerned for our own health and well-being. Other of us are concerned for our financial futures. And some of us are already starting the grieving process. So there is no point in denying. However, we know that panic attacks do not solve pandemics. We can agree that anxiety and insomnia do not help us be our best selves. We know that ruminating thoughts do not empower us to take back control. But can we wish these experiences away? Let's talk about what our brains are doing on pandemic mode and surprising ways we can redirect and maybe even harness some of those scary emotions. There's this part of our brain that sets our routines and it also happens to be the same part of our brain that can create anxiety and panic attacks. It's called the basal ganglia. What can we do to antidote when that anxiety comes up because our routines are disrupted? We can engage our own creativity. Creativity is a natural result of disrupted routines. And it's generated by the part of our brain, a different part of our brain, that makes us most uniquely human. The part we call the prefrontal cortex writing a poem, drawing, painting, planning a garden, starting a new work project, may produce some surprising new results and help bring your brain back some balance. So practice some of your humaning by getting creative and you may be surprised by the fantastic results you get at this time, both in terms of your own inner harmony and perhaps even a new way to express yourself in the world.